Hi everyone. You've seen how iAlert Continuous Condition Monitoring can take machine maintenance to a whole new level as a simple, low-cost addition to your maintenance program. Now let's take a closer look at the iAlert sensor, then talk about where and how to mount them. And here it is, the iAlert Equipment Health Monitor. Attach it to your machine and it measures temperature, three-axis vibration, and runtime hours. It checks alarms every five minutes, stores readings every hour and on alarm, and you retrieve that data via Bluetooth with your smartphone from a distance of up to 100 feet or 30 meters. So where should you use it? On any piece of rotating equipment where bearings are at work and need to be monitored. Pumps, motors, fans, compressors, gearboxes, you name it. And because the sensors are dustproof, waterproof, and rated for explosion-proof environments, they're safe for nearly every application. Now, because it dramatically reduces the time and cost of data gathering, you'll be able to monitor many more of those machines than your budget probably allowed for in the past. Another factor to consider is how difficult a machine is to access. One of our customers had an expensive failure of a motor in one of their cooling towers because no one could enter it to do vibration checks while shutting it down. During the repair, the gearbox and motors were fitted with eye alert sensors and they never had another undetected failure. But even for machines that require you to squeeze in or climb up to access them, eye alert is no brainer. Once you've chosen which machines to monitor, where exactly do you place the sensors? For smaller machines, one eye alert sensor mounted on the drive end bearing is all you need. With larger machines that have bearing assemblies farther apart, you want to cover each one with its own sensor. There are three methods for attaching the eye alert sensor. Drill and tap is preferred because it gives you better contact and temperature transfer and is more permanent. If you're unsure that you can drill and tap the equipment, a simple epoxy mount will do just fine. Or if you want to use eye alert for temporary troubleshooting, a magnetic mount is really your best solution. To see a video with step-by-step -step instructions, click or tap the upper right corner of your screen. Once you've attached your eye alert, peel off this sticker and it senses the light and turns on automatically. The green light shows that the machine is operating within safe parameters. The red light indicates an alarm condition. And the blue light shows that data is being transmitted to your phone or tablet. It just shows how thoroughly iAlert has been designed for simple installation and operation. So that's it for placing and installing the sensors. After that, just download the free iAlert app, Set it up in a few easy steps, and you're ready to unleash the full power of condition monitoring, reducing your maintenance costs and avoiding unexpected machine failures. To see how to set up the sensor, click or tap the screen in the upper right corner to view a video, and thanks for watching.